What's that? You want the latest hot thing in gaming? I got you covered. Hey guys, the Switch is out as we speak right now. So we've got a bunch of Nintendo Switch stuff to unbox today. We've obviously got the system. We've got a bunch of fucking accessories. I don't even know what they are. Um, we got the backpack, we got all this stuff. You guys in all honesty have probably seen this bad boy in box probably several hundred times on YouTube already, so we're just gonna get this out of the way now. But I have something that other channels don't have. I've got all these accessories that I haven't even seen unboxed yet. So we're gonna unbox those, and at the end, I've got a very, very special something for the Switch. Very special unboxing. Take these right out and see what we got. Okay, they're a little, th uh, wow, they're really, really, Tiny. There's a left Joy-Con. It's pretty much the same exact thing as the right one, vice versa. You can use them just like this if you want. Then of course we've got, wow, this thing is really, really tiny. This thing, okay. I know everyone says it's small. Everyone always says it, how, how small the Switch is and oh, it's almost like a tablet or a phone. I really, like, I understood that, but I didn't really understand it until I'm actually like holding it. This thing is small as fuck. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Whoops. That should that should be the sound. Whoops. Con action. Slide these bad boys right on here. Just like that, and you're ready to roll. Last but not least, we have Nintendo Switch dock. Everyone know you know what this is. This is the hunk of plastic with an HDMI port in the back of it. We don't need to go any further uh, into that. You get your Nintendo Switch microfiber cloth, official microfiber cloth of the Nintendo Switch. Feels like a like a like a regular microfiber cloth, but that's cool. Clean your screen, do whatever you got to do with that bad boy. You open up this thing, and then, -da! and then these can sit right in there, just like a game. You could either put a game or uh, I guess your SD cards in there. When in Rome, when in Rome. Wireless LAN adapter. Uh, yeah, didn't really think I needed this, but. It's pretty straightforward. You hook everything up to the system and it's gonna start looking like Frankenstein pretty soon after a few of these accessories. But this is pretty much USB to uh, Ethernet. Wires your connection for when you're in dock mode. Ooh. 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 This is the Pro Controller. I recommend getting one because this kicks the shit out of the Joy-Cons. Look how much, like, it's so... It, the, I can't, I won't be able to use these after I use this. Which one do you think is the one that charges? You have no idea. The only difference I can really tell other than the, the color of the plastic on these two things is right at the top here. You can see one has a little USB-C port and the other one has nothing. This is the one that comes with the system. This is the one that costs $30 extra. Okay guys, so remember when I said I had something really, really, really special to unbox? Well, if I just move this right out of the way here. <clears throat> oh yeah! This is the Zelda Master Edition. These are, I don't know how limited they are, but they're limited. These things are rare. You can't find them not, not nowhere. This is the moment of truth. What a beautiful box, by the way. Can we just admire this box? It's kind of got like a texture on it too. Nothing on the side, but we got the eye on the back. Really dope looking box, super dope looking box. Whoa, what do we got in here? I think it's upside down. It's textured, it feels good. It's the Sheikah Slate from the game. How can you get any more authentic than that? This is the Sheikah Slate, guys, come on. <sighs> Master Edition Sword of Resurrection. That's what's supposed to be in this bad guy. We're gonna save that for the grand finale, though. So there's the back of the two different editions. Um, the fronts are identical, I'm looking at them right now. Actually, one thing. Uh, the front of this one has the, the, the ESRB rating on it. This one does not. This one also says it's not for resale. Whoa! Zelda coin. Okay, well anyway, here's a Sheikah coin or Sheikah slate coin. I don't, I don't know what all these, these the terms are for them. But there's your coin, there's your Zelda, the Z, 
and then you got the Sheikah sounds and something soundtrack. I don't know uh, if you want to sit around and listen to to Zelda music. I know it helps some people relax. It feels like a like a scroll almost, like a oh what the fr wow that's that's high rule right there. That's high rule. On the back we've got um, we've got. Uh, uh, I think Ganon in the middle there, and then the Divine Beasts on the side. I don't know how easily you can see that, but I think that's all the beasts on the side. This is, I'm getting this shit framed. This is dope. This is the coolest thing I've opened so far. There she is, the sort of, this feels like like real wood, or real whatever the hell it is, metal down here. Is there anything on the bottom? Oh yes, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, made in China. So you know it's a great product and it is worth $130, but there it is. There's our sword, that's going up somewhere. So everybody, it's got a really, really weird smell to it. Like not like a normal typical plastic smell from China, like a, like a musty, it's kind of like a must. Maybe that's what the sword smells like. Maybe that's the authentic smell of the blade. Thank you guys for watching. Content will be coming. I can promise you that. I know it's been a little bare as of late. And I'll see you all in the next video. I gotta go play some Zelda, because I'm dying.